Okay, get a random rare relic, snipey snipey upgrade. These are good options. I believe the Snake I would have won that run. I put it on record. Snake has forsaken me. Rather, I've forsaken the Snake I'm good, man. Beer pack. Uh, wait, let me. I'm gonna go. Here, let me. I'm gonna get up real quick. Uh, threw it away. Alright, let's go. Beer pack. Do a cash removal run. I was so mad that I wanted the run to end, so I hit all the elites and ended up being super slow. Oh, nice. You got so mad you made you made the run better. You got stronger. God, this run sucks. I'm gonna go kill all these elites and hope that I die. Two hours later. Holy shit, I'm winning. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe snipe. Wait, no, 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 no. It's probably rare relic. Let me see. Okay, if I take a rare relic, guys, we are gonna hope that with this rare relic, elites are possible. Is that too hopeful? Probably not. Oh shit, my bad. Wait. Ah, fuck. Oh, there we go. I was just real fast. <laughs> God damn it. This is not combat effectiveness at all. Merry Christmas, here's a shovel. Dig your grave. Alright, let's look at campfires, okay? Boom. Only dig. We call this the... This is gonna be the uh, Santa run. We're gonna only dig. Why fight elites when you can go ahead and dig and not upgrade your cards? Backstab. Well, that gives you one more reason to dig. Got a free upgrade. Got him. Got my upgrades. All right, guys, guess we're digging. Shits, I'm a huge fan of, but yes. Oh, is that a curse that I can remove at a shop and get value? There's no shop. Should I region pot in the event that I get a potion? Absolutely. Atlanta DL, thanks for the follow. Okay, here's the thing. I um I wanted healing. So in the event that I take a hit here, it's counterintuitive. Yes. Okay, first look of the day. What are we gonna get? Bam. Value. Not bad. I approve. This is a rough fight, by the way. Just in case you're wondering, this fight sucks. You know? It's a sucky fight. This fight stinks. Yep, this just in the fight still stinks. Currently still stinks right now. Oh god. Well, let me see here. 
close. Alright, maybe this mm, mm, this is ambitious. This was ambitious for sure. Easy, okay, no problem. Alright, second dig of the day. First off, do we like the all attack? Dash? Yes. Who's the boss? Hmm, yes. More digging. That's pretty, I guess that is pretty, uh... Like, they're trying to tell me something. This is definitely trying to tell me something about my active digging. I'm not smart enough to find out. But I have a feeling there's a message there. I can watch pretty good. I mean, dig more. Exactly what it's saying. Piercing whale, leg sweep. This is a tough choice. I like them both. Hmm. So. Thanks to the we can add unupgraded cards to our deck, bloat it with unupgraded cards, and then dig with never upgrading and die in Act 2. This just in, shovel is amazing. What do you mean the flying hat? The hat is securely fastened to my head in real life, and it is perfectly in position. So, Ventus. I'm gonna do deflect, but here's the thing about deflect, so I might not do it. Because pocket watch, right? That's not pocket watch, that's pocket watch. Um. If I play Deflect to get extra block, then I'm playing more cards to get less pocket watch. It, it sounds stupid, but like I kind of like that interaction. Is that fair? Fair to say? Merry early Christmas to you too. Play fewer cards so you can draw more cards you won't play. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. I am going to play Dash pretty much on cooldown. So. There's reasons for this. Oh, Flechette. I didn't even think about you, but now I am. Oh, now I'm thinking about you. Pocket Watch Flechettes. This is thematic. So th thematic, in fact. I'm going to get it again. I tried. This deck is just amazing at the moment. I'll take one little poison. It's, it's too good not to have. Pocket watch. Oof. 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 Damn. This is. This is a. This is a really smooth act one, guys. How about for Christmas, we turn on the Twitch plays, and you guys take over. Just kidding. Second dash, I don't think I want. <clears throat> I'm gonna skip here, I don't want the second dash. Okay. Unload, poison, or cloak and dagger. Well, here's the thing about cloak and dagger, pocket watch, right? That little shiv makes pocket watch less good. What if I just focus on one thing? It's called tunnel vision. We tunnel vision on Pocket Watch and we take all their decisions based on the fact that Pocket Watch gets worse and see where that takes us. Where does that take us? Poison Set's pretty good as well. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dig into singing bowl, don't you worry. We're gonna dig right into singing bowl right now. And all the non-believers. 
Or just watch. Okay, I believe that if I do this and then this, I will not hit Ascender's Bane. Right? That's just fair. Easy. I've done it wrong before. Yeah, I've done that before. I've done a run like that before. I even done uh, Slay the Streamer where you have to like actively pick cards to make me lose. God, this is so good right now. Oof. Pocket Watch is a hell of a relic. We can just play some next one. I don't mind. It's fine. I'm feeling pretty chill today. I don't want to think super hard. And knowing you guys, you guys are not gonna put a lot of challenge, right? It's gonna be super easy to sway you guys. So like, it's a free. It's like a free. It's like a free content for me. Slain Twitch chat. That much sleep. Just kidding. Just kidding. Where am I? Pocket Art of War, excellent combo. I mean, it's not so bad. I think the Shets I want to play often. Hmm. These are nice up unupgraded cards. Be a shame to skip them all. Digging. Okay, I. I'm digging out of like a meme, but. I really do want to upgrade Flechettes probably. It's the part my best card with Pocket Watch. Do I want to reapply the weekend so I can attempt to block this? It's interesting. Two energy to do jack shit practically that's what does uh now every turn i gain one strength it's good for boss fights oh shit mama there goes that man To pocket watch or not pocket watch? Okay, let me do the math here. 20, 28. 52 is okay. We can label 52, right? We're happy with that? Or are we? I could always do 24 and then try to block a little bit. This is a poison pot. I can bring him down to 52. Or take the hit. I'm scared if I take the hit, uh, we're drawing a lot of slimes. If I take the hit, then I, I'm doing this. I'll do less than I realized because I forgot that I don't have four energy, right? Okay. This becomes worse now. Yeah, they, they updated the beta branch has a lot of good stuff going on right now.
if there was ever a time where a man wanted flechettes, it's right now. Because imagine, if I do all that attack and it hits Calculator Gamble, we're pretty upset about that. All that attack is going to kill them all, but I'd rather do this. Merry Christmas, Shadow Raptor. Yeah. Oh, this hat right here? Yeah, that's on my head. Alright. What do we got here? Oh my god. What are these relics, man? This is Christmas time, not Pandora's box of shit. Yeah, my lady's uncommon. I remember that. I remember those days. Who needs to rest when you can only dig? And we've got blood vial. Alright. God. Nice and cozy here. Alright. Oh, let me put this. Oh, one sec. Sorry, guys. I'm holding it up in the air. Give me a sec. Sparkle right now. I want to hit a shop. What if we skip at least and go only digging? We're going to have an unupgraded deck. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to find a card that upgrades all your cards. A.K.A. Apotheosis or Mind Bloom. Unfortunately, you can't dig Necronomicon. Otherwise, I would think you're a genius. And I would follow your advice. I'd be like, this guy knows what he's talking about. Unfortunately... You immediately failed yourself as an inside knowledge guy because that's impossible. So now I can't trust you. And you will not be getting my monies. That's right, you will not be getting my monies. Alright, what do you think about Neutralize Malay's Poison Pot? <sighs> Seems heavy handed, right? What's up, Ultra Cannon? How are the runs? Good. We're digging a lot. Digging like crazy. I lose Pocket Watch, but I gain. I get rid of all of his artifacts, and then we can just poison him. Or maybe just Daily Poison. Say goodbye to Pocket Watch there. But we'll do Daily Poison. Okay. Easy. A man and his pocket watch took a stroll through the bar.
Taking four damage isn't fun, but whatever. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Backflip. Piercing. Backflip when pocket watch is the thing. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna tunnel vision on this relic, and we're gonna just make all our decisions based around it. So this is a relic run, right? Because we're digging like crazy. So why not take Matryoshka to have double the fun? But Sneko Skull is just really good. The problem with Sneko Skull is that we only have Deli Poison. I guess I can take a second Deli Poison, but then the deck becomes weird. I have to start removing all my strikes. In fact, this deck wants to remove every single strike it has. If I take Sneko Skull. Because then we just have the chats and poison. I guess that's doable. But then how are we going to block? That's a problem. We need things like footwork. Psycho Skull is really good though. I could just go for the relics though. We can go for a relic run. Alright, if I take Psycho Skull and I buy second Deadly Poison. I remove a strike. Is the deck good? It's getting there, right? Sure. Oh, I didn't even realize. I just had the faith that I had the money. I didn't realize it was exact gold. That's how you know you made the right play. If that ever happens to you, you made the right play. So, we're taking the max HP, yeah? Little Miss Coffee Dippers, like. Sir, you may not want to take that damage. I agree. So, like, Decay sucks, right? It sucks. It does two damage to you. But I want to get rid of these strikes. Now, I have a proposal. What if... Just what if. I'll leave it at that. Just what if. I know, it seems like an aggressively donkey play to do that, but... There's a method to my madness. A method to my madness here. I guarantee it. It will show itself in the coming days. This is awkward. So what you call an awkward turn right now. Glorious. Well, this is going really well. All right, whoa, cow chops is very good. That's like the first upgraded card I've seen in the whole run. Beautiful, great power. I absolutely approve. Also, 
Okay. There's also Bouncing Flash Sneko Skull. Yay or nay, chat? Yay or nay? Bouncing Flask, Sneko Skull. The thing is, we already have two deadly poisons. God, that looks awkward. Yeah, Trico, yeah, that's very helpful. So if you want to dig, yeah? Okay. I could do an elite, or I could do a hallway fight and dig even further. Well, wait. So if I do this, I do a late elite anyways. Choice is simple. The choice is simple. The choice is yours. Should have poisoned, but it's okay. That's okay. Because we're just gonna poison like this, and then we're gonna dig, 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 dig. I've done tons of digging. I want Ori Calcum, because that would be amazing right now. That would be fantastic right about now. Guessing what bang Ooh, burst. Hmm. Burst is a good card. Bane plus. God, that looks tempting, but it's not the play. Like that front load is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Bane plus is that's a good hit. But it's just not the play. Dig. Okay. Ink bottle. Whenever you play ink card, draw a card. I don't know about this relic. Guys, my feelings about this relic is that it's like stuck in indifference, lack of knowing. My feelings about this, they're not very clear. I need some clearer ink right now. Like, this could be clutchy clutch, but like, we're also just pocket watching almost all the time. Well, no, this, this accumulates, this accumulates. So it's in between fights, accumulates. It's not like, Yeah, it's, it's a good relic, guys. I imagine a lot of things. That's one of them. Oh, wait a sec. Fuck, guys. Ah, uh, fuck. Mm, wait, no, <laughs> wrong thing. Fuck. No, wrong thing. God damn it. Wait. <laughs> Shit. Uh, there we go. God, that was a disaster. That hat got me thinking weird.
God, if you, were, if you were trying to find it out, that's not a real hat. Jeez. What have I done? Let me fix this. I actually ruined this. Okay. I'm gonna just put the hat in the mic. Yeah, that's a good exit. That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Wait, maybe put the hat in the mic. Hmm. Damn, Phoebe's got the ideas right now. Guys, I feel like we're running out of block. Like, we don't have enough block. We really don't have enough block. Guys, my deck is lacking block really bad. This is tragic. This is not the- I wanted the, uh, I wanted the book of stabbing. Not too much to ask for. A lot of damage. Yeah, hey, fuck neutralize. Neutralize just doesn't give me pocket watch. Fuck that card. My bad. Whoo, big boy. Big boy blessing. Can the guys just fuck off with their attacks? Like, holy shit. God, this is awkward. Oh, wow, what a turn. I could burst malaise this guy and say, hey, who cares about 15 damage to the face? Not me. I could do that. I could also have this 25 health aggressive ass gremlin mad at me staying there for the rest of the fight, which I don't want to see. I mean, I just killed his brother. I have an idea. He's taking 8 Reflect, right? He's taking 8 Reflect. I got an idea. Jesus Christ. Guys, if this is malaise, I want you guys to all scream. Crisis averted. Wait, isn't malaise more value? Each negative strength gets rid of three damage, right? What am I talking about? I'm at, what did I even say? Guys, ignore me. What did I even say? Holy crap. I'm out here making myself look like a fool. I'm getting real sick and tired of these damn mad gremlins. I'm gonna focus on the boss here. Ah, this is actually a tough fight.
All right, we got 24 damage, right? And then we got a lot of poison. But they're hurting me so much, and I can't rest. Wait a minute. If I... 6, 12... 18. 18... 24 plus 24, 48. I'm 3 damage off lethal, yeah? That kind of sucks. So when you 3 damage off lethal, what do you do? Because what if there's a world where if I don't just take the damage now, I'm taking more damage because he's attacking me, and then I just die. You know what I mean? So I just take the 5 or whatever to my face. Well, actually, I can do this. Check this out. I could just do this. What's up for fun gamer? That was a tough fight. Like, look, whoa, maybe, maybe yes. Yeah, but that was three damage off Ultra Cannon. So you can't burst the shets. So what you could do is the shets burst poison, poison, which is in total 18 poison. I had 48 damage in total. Oh no, this hat's real. This hat's real. It is. It's just uh. I actually dangled it from the roof, it's just so that, um, I'm not sure why I do that, to be honest. Burst Alchemize. Potion belt for days. This guy's kicking my ass. Um, excuse me, sir. I believe you're hitting me for too much. Laser letter opener. Now we're thinking we're portals. So this is a deck that would have won if I didn't dig at all. Can you imagine that? Imagine a run where you're going to win, but you decide to dig at every campfire and dig yourself to a loss. Like, incredible. Uh, any tips? I'm stuck on a Century 15 Ironclad. Yes. Three tips. Um, I just thought of a sexual joke. Let me uh, rephrase this. Yes. Three tips. Strength scaling. Make sure you have AoE. Try to upgrade more, rest less. And, um, utility cards like Shock Whip Disarm, Hunt Relics, Find Reaper. Those are the best tips right now. I'll come back with more. Region pot, region pot, that's what I want. Holy shit, this guy's relentless, this guy's relentless. Make it stop. Make it stop. That's a lot of poison. Congrats, man. Good job. Let her open her pocket watch is actually really awkward. 
I'm taking a second leg sweep just because. Yes. Um, guys, this deck is having trouble. Imagine we're gonna dig again. Look, when you're when you when your choices are simple to dig or not dig. Okay. So far, we've been really thematic in the sense that we want relics. And this gives us max HP. So it's, it's like a heal. But having a continuous rat writhe in my deck plus the decay, I can't say I approve. Yeah, a Nambo. Wait, what was the Nambo that I had here? Dig up the blue candle. Now we're thinking. I prefer feed early because feed early you can get a crazy amount of max HP. Real talk though, I should probably upgrade burst or bouncing fast, right? Bouncing Flask is going to be 16 poison for 2. So let's talk about the ideas of what we would upgrade. Let's just talk about it. Like, a world will we upgrade. But we're going to dig anyways. But it's nice to talk about what would, what would we upgrade if we weren't digging. Now, I actually might convince myself to upgrade Bouncing Flask here. Because how else do I kill this man? You know, I realize I don't have a lot of life here. Hey, that's how you get upgrades. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Let me see. This is a worthwhile upgrade, right? And do we save this upgrade because we get bursts? Like you save it for bursts, or do I just like upgrade malaise, the shets, the poison? What would be a better upgrade? If I hit burst and poison? What do I need what do I need to attack for? Why would I need to attack? I don't. This is gorgeous. Okay. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I think I should burst bouncing flasks. Thoughts? What am I exactly doing currently? I left the game when it had 15 difficulties. What's going on and what changed? Okay, so the game is now Ascension 20. Much harder than before. There's now a fourth act where you get three keys and you fight a heart at the end of it and a very hard elite as well. There's a lot of new relics, some balance changes, some balance changes, and there's a fourth character, official fourth character in beta. A lot of changes. I guess pretty much I could save it for his multi hit, but I already have malaise that I'm saving. So my philosophy is that I pierce and whale to get it out of my deck. Similar concept with this. Okay, I kind of regret this. I want to save Art of War, right? Is this extra number going to save me?
Like, I was gonna do Pocket Watch, but next turn I'm, I'd rather just play Poison and Block. And I don't need Pocket Watch for that. Just need to get out of War here. Out of War is better. Okay. This is actually perfect, because when I'm done with this. I'm not going to be vulnerable for his execute. Why does this turn suck so bad? So other characters can have orb slots, can other characters enter video? Mmm, that's a good question. I got to think about gamblers, bro, but I'm thinking about doing burst first, so I can burst the bouncing potentially. But here's also the problem. Is that next turn we have to block a decent amount, and I need gamblers brew for that to make sure... I need gamblers to make sure I can block next turn. Because next turn's a big attack. Unless I just do malaise next turn. But if I draw into malaise now, I can't do malaise next turn. Fuck. But I don't think we gamblers because next turn we need to block the most we need to block for the fight. Like, Bouncy Glass is not going to win me the fight here. You can't pre because he removes everything. He removes his poison, the weaken, and everything in between. Can't pre -malaise. Yeah, there, there lies my dilemma. I do think we want a pocket watch though. And Art of War is pretty useful because I need, I think I need all five energy next turn to survive this attack, don't I? I think we just need all the energy. It seems crazy, guys. I know. I should have done burst leg sweep to get the little letter opener, which would have done nothing. All right, guys. When skip is the ideal play. Okay, do the Phelps. Gotta do the Phelps stretch right here. Let's see. We got 42 damage. We got the weekend. We don't got the malaise. We could try to malaise Gamblers Brew. As much as I really want to do the poison, I can't prioritize that right now. Okay, so let's do some math. Why did I dig myself to such a horrible deck? That's just what I want to know. I dug myself into a horrible deck. The deck's actually okay. The deck's okay. Like, let me let me not be pessimistic. The deck's fine. We can do this. <clears throat> Twenty-two. Okay. Is it just better to do leg sweep? Like. Okay. It just was good damage, it really was, but I think I practice all the block. And if I do Gamma's Brew, I can guarantee Malaise here. Is that even worth it? I also guarantee like the better defend. I defend I get survivor defend Malaise. I guess I do have full block already, right? I guess I do have full block already. It's a pretty shitty malaise, but I reckon it's fine. Alright, now, I didn't get pocket watch, but I now need to apply poison like, like the Dickens. Ah, uh, now this was like a gambler's brew, but this is also really shitty gambler's brew. This is my turn to apply all the poison in the world. Ah, uh, I should have prioritized pocket watch. I should have prioritized pocket watch. Because this turn needs to be all the poison. Because next turn he's attacking like nobody else. 
I gamblers now, then if I don't get what I draw into next turn, then I could just die next turn. I could Predator, and that could be like my pocket watch if I play Predator now. So that like, Predator can mean I can do Gambler. Like if I can play Predator, then Gambler. Because now I can do Gambler, and I'm not worried about the draw as much. I get less energy, sure, but... I think it's, I really gotta get poison here, that's the thing. I guess I get pocket watch anyways, but then I don't get the energy. And letter opener is not, like 5 damage is not... You think 5 damage is gonna make a difference? Is it gonna be so tight that 5 damage makes a difference? Hmm. Oh, I gotta survive this. Six. Damn, what if I just like... Wait, how much do I have right now? 1632 plus 30. I have 80 damage. I only have 80 damage. I'm short. 24 damage. You're short too. I think I'm dead. I could survive, but just barely. I could do burst defend, survivor block. And that's the only play I can do. Look at that flechette I wasn't able to do though. God, that was such a big flechette. Poison. Poison. That's an extra 10 damage plus the poison. Wait. Math time. 6. to digging back to digging all right we got through the hard fight let's go straight to digging okay now we got Venom Snuggle Skull that's never wait Venom Snuggle Skull Flechettes or Alchemize number two for more potions to find more region pots mm. Venom Snuggle Skull Flechettes thoughts The thing is, I have to waste an upgrade on the Venom. That's a no for me, Doug. I think a second Akuma is not even that good, though. Facets, basically, Facets like my only good attack for Venom, that's it. That seems like a, a waste. I 
I don't even think we take more alchemize, but we do have the space for it. With Curse Key, we can get more curses and more max HP. Nope. You can no longer smith. Okay, technically... Technically, I do have the, the shovel. So I can go for 5 energy, but here's the thing about 5 energy. It makes Pocket Watch kind of awkward. I do want to upgrade. Like, for instance, we probably want to upgrade Bursts. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Oh my god, this is terrible. I hate this. I hate this. Excuse me while I munch on my wafers. God damn it. Our deck's awesome. Our deck's fantastic. Where? Where? Whoa! Jesus Christ, we are actually breaking the game in the most weird way. Yes. Yes. Okay, blur. Let's talk about it. Yo, take care. Take care, Ultra Cannon. Hmm. Thoughts? We'll, we'll remove it now, okay? Yeah, health is a really important metric. Health is really important. Talk to a local doctor near you. Health is so important, I don't want to take damage here. But, I can heal it with the Little Miss uh, Blood Vial. So, I don't care. If I die because of 2 HP, I want all of you guys to scold me for the next week. Okay? If I die by HP, you guys know what to do. Thank you, Kai. How you doing, man? I took 2 damage from Decay. Funnel is not that very good here. I need to get Kalos to remove the, the Writhe. 
Although Wally Plants is really good. But I think we just take, we have to remove the Ride and take Catalyst. Also, I realized I can't upgrade Catalyst, by the way. Wait, this is pretty good. We also have Nightmare, so now we have like Nightmare potential things. So this is like it's getting really good, but this is also really good. It's really good, man. Why not get a pain? What if I just upgrade Catalyst? This upgrades everything though. But look guys, this is a run where I haven't upgraded anything because I've been digging. So what better relic than to get a relic that upgrades every card every turn? I got this Christmas hat from the uh, local, local dollar store. Thanks man, appreciate it. Hmm. But gotta keep in mind the paint also gives me max HP, guys. When's the next time I can remove this? Alright. Beautiful. Alright, I gotta use the bathroom. I just I just shot my pants. I, I uh this is a what's it called? Sparkle Reptile Mentor. Yeah, I'll be back. No, I gotta use the bathroom though. Oh fuck wait. Ah god damn it. My camera's frozen. Excuse me. Huh, I'm here but I'm not. That's weird. I'm here but I'm not. I know what's happening. That's the trick. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Give me one second. Technical difficulties. Give me a second. Un second. Okay. Hmm. Well, let me get this on. Okay, cool. Oh, that's not good, actually. That's really a tragically bad. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright. You know, we don't have... Noxious seems... Why am I drinking matcha? I, God, why am I do that to myself? Alright. I have an idea. Grand finale is so goddamn tempting. These guys have to die because of uh, region purposes. This is this actually just a really tough fight. I don't, I'm not sure if I can do it. I think we just lose this fight, actually. Straight up, I think we just lose. How do I manage these little minions, which are going to be important because they do 25 the turns the next turn? If you don't care about the minions, they are putting stuff in your deck. Oh, I catalyst the boss. I gotta survive for catalyst. Duh. That's our wing con. Survive for catalyst. If 
That's the wing con. Survive for Catalyst. Pog Iwagi, bro. That's super cool. That is super cool. Huge fan of that. Do we take this piercing? Do we use the plated armor as we speak? Try to save as much damage as possible? I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Hear me out. Holy shit. <laughs> Hear me out. Nightmare Poison. Next turn Burst Catalyst. Or well, we can do all at attack. Nightmare didn't just no. I can't rest. Nightmare decay. Huge brain. Okay. If we do the math, right? If I were a mathematician, I would say there's lethal foot. I want to see how much do I need to get alchemized. Can I burst alchemize instead? What if I do poison burst alchemize catalyst, right? So right now we have. Am I being greedy? Let me see. Hey, sorry. I'm slow today. All right, I'm slow. He dies guaranteed next turn, right? Question card. Really? On the bright side, we get to dig and fight another elite. Finally! God damn it, Shovel, you're like 40 turns too late. Wow. So we have potions up the ass. So what if I just like, what's the what's the weakest link here? The cultist spot is the weakest link. Like, I like the ship pot, but the thing is, I want to. I want to prioritize <sighs> Give me a second This guy's an asshole I think I have the catalyst here. And then gamblers roof block. Wait, let's see if we can alchemize with this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a start. We 
catalyze and then we yeah we do this in the gamblers. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. I don't want to hear it. Okay, we have like 10 HP. That should be good. We can cut. Yeah. I could have like not been one off. Whoa. Wait, there's actually like a lot of hope for this run. Unironically. Yeah, I could have striked earlier and not been one off. All right, I said there's hope, and then we see this fight. It's like, guys, there's a lot of hope for this run. Unironically, uh, just wait two more seconds, see the fight, and retract your statement. Yeah, I retract. Yeah, okay. Now I think we can do this. We just need to. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, buddy? How's work? I remember you had like some internships and stuff. You know, fights like this are really hard for me. I wonder if we power pot because we need to, we need to get a power pot for them. I know, uh, not resting. It was a play. Don't worry, we're gonna sing in bowl like so much. You're gonna be thinking, geez. Save some HP for the rest of them. I'll tell you what, this is rough. Hey, I might do it. Wait a minute, but I need the rewards because I need to get the health back. Guys, when I finish this, I'm getting four health back. I can survive for now, so I think, like, I think we just had to persevere, okay? Just persevere and smoke bomb for when it really matters, which is right now. <laughs> Fuck! I had a feeling too. Smoke bomb for what it really matters. You mean next turn? Yeah, okay, well, listen. No, oh, yeah, you can smoke bomb, but look here. Let me, let me. 16. We've got 31 block. I thought it was a worth, worthwhile risk, because if I take the risk to not smoke bomb, then I get 
max HP out of the end of this, you know? Just my luck that... <sighs> Guys, did we talk about hallway fights in Act 3? I'm gonna cry on Christmas. I'm crying on Christmas. I really want Pocket Watch. So I wanna get Malays out, but I really want Pocket Watch. I'm not offending because your typo was hilarious in the sense because, uh, mm, okay. Wait, he's taking 16? I'm good, yeah? Okay. Burst catalyst for good, yeah? And turned profit. Now we just need to get Alchemize out, alright? That's the goal. So what if I just do Nightmare Alchemize? I can't. Nightmare Alchemize would be the huge brain play. Give me something good. That is not good. It's disgraceful. I don't want to kill him, but it does nothing but massage my ego. I guess my ego does need it right now, right? I guess my ego does need it. Let's kill him. Ah, I didn't want the max HP correction. I think I need it. Just so you guys are unaware. Um, get back over here. We need a recall. Why is that so goddamn tempting? Why are they doing this to me? Alright, so we need to kill two more hallway fights. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you. It's a shit ton of damage. Fuck out this rate, I'd rather... Get the curse, honestly. I can block without the curse though, because I do have... Like, this is fine. Hey, you like the hat? What's up, Justice? I, I, I kind of want to get one of my fan, but... Okay, now I'm scared because if I attack him, like, the curse is my best option here. Jesus Christ. And Kalos was so useless by being on the first turn.
Is there a relic that can make you remove like half the cards in your deck? Because I want that relic. No, I need that relic. Unfortunately, there's not a relic that does that. Isn't it cool how like on average... No, I know, I know I'm to catch no. On average, um... The potions I'm getting are absolute garbage. Like, isn't that just amazing? Okay, I need the max HP. I need the max HP. Okay. One more hallway fight. Okay, actually, wait, wait. There is an event that can heal me. So... Do we go for four max HP or the heal? Four max HP or the heal. Please think about it. When you go to the combat, you also get two. So that's six HP. Also, speed pot versus what? Overflex. Big cucka with the big events. I respect it. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Hey, Merry Christmas. <sighs> Big event. Huge event. All right. It's okay. Yeah, it was, it was the most correct play. It was, it was. Um, I think we can win this. Give me a second. I want show My speed putting to save this life. It's probably more useful next turn, right? I think pocket watch is more important as well. Burst Alchemize? Does the Burst Alchemize strike again? Yes. There's hope yet. There's hope yet. Can you guys believe I had Duggle? I, Duggle. I had Shovel <laughs> at my first relic, right? I dug as much as I can. And this is the pallet shit I ended up with. It's unbelievable. Okay, to be honest, it's not that bad. The deck's okay, and I think the run's going on fine. I mean, despite for the fact that we have no life, like, you know, this is a good deck. We could win. I think the meme was 
Hm. Ich bin vorgesehen, das war ja unzeit. Das ist tough. I say that every time there's a hard fight, I just realize when a fight is tough, I'm like, well, this is tough. Well, yeah, no shit. So, I think. What if I preemptively malaise? I want to start snacking poison. I think I can get more out of this malaise, obviously. Shit, my bad. Um, who wants all that? I think preemptive malaise. Three. The best thing for me to do is... What if I Nightmare Malaise? Uh, there's a world where we Nightmare Malaise win this fight. We really gotta think about our whole deck. Can we survive long enough and kill the cultists and stall in order to get Nightmare Malaise? It's absolutely unrealistic, right? Massively unrealistic. <laughs> it's the last minute festi uh, festivity, okay? Chooses to be mean. What's up, Jeremy? I don't hold it against him. Let's move in. I can't afford it. I need him to be weakened for longer, right? Uh, I don't get pocket watch here, so I'm probably just delaying the inevitable. I have to unironically catalyst this guy. Hmm. Yeah, he's looking really bad. Are we just dead here?
one HP. I could use block pot. I could use block pot because I have blur. The last thing I want though is to like over block. I don't want to over block, that's the only issue. So I can take 1 HP damage and keep the block for a better turn. Turn where I don't have enough block, it's better to block putt. Hammer Catalyst. Hammer Catalyst. Sundial was huge. So I need this for the next phase. What if I block part now for pocket watch? Because I need the block part for the second phase, right? We don't really need pocket watch because we're catalyst anyways. So we don't need pocket watch. Because we're just gonna be catalyst anyways. We're not gonna survive the next phase. So there's a chance we can get blur now. Now these are the last two catalysts in my deck. Should I save both of them? He has he dies in three turns. Or do I wanna just kill him now? Save both or just save one, kill him now. Maybe try to find like my powers. My blur no, I can't, I can't do my powers. I think blur is the best option. They both really. Then I gotta survive. Not really, cause I, once I once I use one right now, I can just calculate game one. I can drop back into it. Calculate game one draws in one, two, three, four, five cards, and then I have pocket watch to draw a shit ton. I think it's totally fine to catalyst now and get going to the next phase. Cause I still gotta apply poison first. Survive Gamble was like, mm. I guess Survive Gamble makes the same sense as well, I suppose. If I survive Gamble and then I get a block, I'm still cycling my deck just as much, but then this guy dies in three turns. He's for like 40 first attack, yeah. I don't know the pocket watch here. Let's look at this. Okay. Would... What if? What if I do Caltrops Piercing Will? Caltrops Piercing Will, so I don't draw back into it. Do I feel like I want Piercing Will for the second phase? Or right, that's not. We're not depending on that, are we? Think I need Piercing Will later. I think we just want to get to Catalyst like, as soon as possible and, and fight. No, Piercing Will gets rid of the extra strength. That's the thing. When you do Catch Up Piercing Will, you remove strength. What's the bell bubble?
Yeah, yeah, we uh, we just, we dug, we just dug nonstop. Yeah, so I think Pistol was just for, so we don't want to see it again. We want to just uh, find Catalyst ASAP, and this gets rid of the strength. We still get Pocket Watch, and now we just gotta stack up Catalyst. Now that's a start, all right. So we got the weekend. We have a we're using Block Pot for sure. That's the start for the Catalyst. Um. Hey, fuck. Should pop for more block. Pocket watch or get extra block. Pocket watch is probably better. <sighs> Man, if this doesn't clench your butt, good for you. Send out coming up. If it's done with Deca, I'm dead. There's a chance. There's a goddamn chance. There's a goddamn chance. Um <clears throat> This is actually the best fight because <clears throat> the catalyst. Space crack. I want pocket watch, but I want to get poison going now. So I suppose if I do pocket watch, I can draw into better poison options. I could also take one more damage for pocket watch, but I could do blur and take one damage for pocket. Maybe that's worth it. Or we could just try to save four block. It's a tough choice. Is saving four block more important than... Hmm. It's worth protecting one life, I think. I think so. We have better, we have better poison options. This is why you protect one life. It turns like this. This is exactly why you protect one life. Okay. Well, shit. How much block do we have? Can you believe I have to burst defend? Tragic. It was tragic. But we're alive. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Look, you're worried. I see it. Look, don't worry. Look, 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 look check out this Akamas.
fuck? It looks so promising. Ah, I got you baited. Ah, I got you baited. All right, shovel never again. All right, I dug as much as I could. Almost. <laughs> 